Hello my lovely ones. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Are you ready to blast off into space? Well, I am. Our objectives for today. Students will be able to identify the solar system, including the sun, moon, stars, and the eight planets, their order, different sizes, and their names. First of all, we are going to watch this video together. What's up, Moby? You're building your own space shuttle? You want to explore our solar system? What is in our solar system? The solar system is the sun and the group of planets and bodies that orbit it. The sun is the center of our solar system. Planets and other bodies, like comets and asteroids, orbit or go around the sun. What is the sun? The sun is a star. A star is a body of hot gases that makes its own light and heat. The center of the sun is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's too hot for anything on Earth to survive. The sun is really big. You could fit over 100 Earths across the sun. But the sun is just a medium-sized star. There are even bigger stars and other bodies out there. Even though the sun is millions of miles away, it's still the closest star to the Earth. The sun gives light and heat to our planet, and living things need the sun's energy to survive. Hmm, what's in the inner solar system? There are four planets in the inner solar system. They're mostly rocky and have craters. Some even have ridges and volcanoes. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun, and it rotates or spins around very slowly. The side that faces the sun gets really hot, and the side that faces away gets really cold. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It has clouds that trap in a lot of heat. Venus is actually the hottest of all the planets. Earth is the planet we live on. We call it the blue planet because there's so much water. Earth is the perfect distance from the sun for plants and animals to survive. Earth has one moon and it orbits our planet. Mars is called the red planet because it has reddish rocks. Scientists think there might have been an ocean on Mars. No, Moby, scientists haven't found any Martians. Yet. What's in the outer solar system? The planets and bodies in the outer solar system are colder because they're farther from the sun. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called gas giants because they're large and mostly made of gases. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. There's a gigantic, powerful storm there called the Great Red Spot. The storm has lasted over 300 years. Saturn is the second largest planet. It's easy to recognize because of all the rings. The rings are made of ice, rock, and dust. Uranus is a gassy planet that has thin rings. Most planets spin kind of like a top, but Uranus spins on its side, like a rolling ball. Neptune also has thin rings, and there's a big storm called the Great Dark Spot. 
kind of like the storm on Jupiter? Good question. Is Pluto a planet? For a long time, Pluto was considered the ninth planet of our solar system. But Pluto is much smaller than the other planets. And its orbit around the sun is different from the other planets' orbits. So, Pluto is now considered a dwarf planet, which is different from a planet. How is your space shuttle coming along, Moby? I don't think that'll make it to space. After watching that video, let's see what is a solar system. A solar system is a group of planets and moons that all travel around the sun. For many years, humans did not know about the solar system and thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. There are eight planets in our solar system. Yes, eight planets. Our solar system was formed around 4.6 billion years ago. Wow. Hmm, so what can we find in space? Amazing! We can find the sun, the moon, stars, the planets, including Earth. So what is up in the sky? Click each image from left to right to find out. You can see the moon at night. It's not made of cheese. High up in the sky, you can see stars twinkling at night. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Our planet is called Earth. It is made up of water and land. The sun is at the center of our solar system. It is a giant star. A very big star. What is the moon? The moon is made of rock, not cheese. The moon is a natural satellite, which means it has always been there. The moon travels around the earth. It takes around 28 days for the moon to travel around the Earth. The moon is around 4.5 billion years old. Wow! To know more about Earth, let's watch this video together. <laughs> Where are we going, Moby? Uh, I don't think our shuttle will make it to space. It's okay, Moby. We can still learn about Earth without visiting outer space. Where is the Earth exactly? Our solar system is made up of the sun and all the planets, moons, and other bodies that go around it. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Right, Moby. Earth gets light and heat from the sun. The Earth rotates a full turn every 24 hours. That's one day. It takes about 365 days for Earth to orbit or go around the sun. That's one year. Earth has one moon, and it takes the moon about one month to orbit the Earth. So the moon orbits the Earth, 
and the Earth orbits the Sun. Hey! Ew! Don't you know what Earth is made of? The Earth has three main layers. The core, the mantle, and the crust. The core is mostly made of metal. It's packed solid at the center, and it's liquid on the outside. Right, it's really hot. The middle layer of the Earth is the rocky mantle. It's the largest layer. The top layer is the crust. It's the thinnest layer and makes up the land we live on. The Earth also has gases around it, called the atmosphere. The atmosphere has the air we breathe. Much of the Earth is covered with water, like rivers, lakes, and especially oceans. In fact, we call it the blue planet because there's so much water. Water helps make life on Earth possible. What is life on Earth like? There are many different environments on Earth. Well, this is a tropical forest. But there are also deserts, mountains, prairies, and many underwater environments. Over 8 million different kinds of plants and animals live on Earth. And many different people live here too. There are over 7 billion people who live on Earth, and the population keeps growing. I guess since Earth is home to so many living things, it's important we take care of it. Well, we can protect the Earth by recycling things. And we can save energy by turning things off. We can also reduce pollution by riding our bikes instead of taking a car. Earth is our home, so we've got to take care of it. Do you think we can look at other planets now? Whoa! I meant with a telescope! So what did we learn about Earth? Earth is the only planet that has life on. It has gravity. And gravity is what keeps us on the ground. Earth is at the average distance from Sun. What does that mean? It's not so close to be very hot and not far to freeze. As we said earlier, that Earth is one of eight planets. To more know about planets, let's watch this video together. Our topic for today is planets of the solar system. The eight planets in their increasing order of distance from the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They revolve around the Sun in definite orbits. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. As Mercury is nearest to the Sun, it is extremely hot during the day and extremely cold during the night. The second planet Venus is the hottest and brightest of all planets. 
as it can be seen in the morning and evening it is called as the morning star or evening star the third planet in the solar system is our planet earth nearly 70% of the earth's surface is covered with water due to which the earth is also called the blue planet it is the only planet on which life is known to exist the fourth planet is mars it is also known as the red planet because of the presence of red soil and rocks the fifth and the largest planet in the solar system is jupiter it is so large that it can occupy nearly 1300 earths inside it the sixth planet that is saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system it is yellowish in color it has beautiful rings around it that are made up of ice and dust the seventh planet is uranus a thick layer of gas covers this planet the eighth planet is neptune as this planet is farthest from the sun cold winds blow here at very high speeds after watching the video can you name the planets Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, Venus, Mercury, Saturn, and Uranus. Let's see how big are the planets. Which planets are near the Sun? And which ones are far? The sun is a large star at the center of our solar system. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun, so it's the one that is near the sun. One day on Venus is longer than one of its years. Earth is the planet that we live on. Just under three quarters of our planet is water. The rest is land. Mars is sometimes called the red planet because of its red soil. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Saturn looks like it has rings around it. These rings are made from rocks and gas. Uranus cannot be seen from Earth without a telescope. Neptune is the furthest from the Sun. It is also the coldest planet because it's really far away from the Sun. If you take a closer look at this picture, you can see how far each planet is from the Sun. Really hope you enjoyed our lesson grade 1. Here is an optional activity, so it's up to you if you like to do it or not. If you want to do it, all you have to do is drag the names to the matching planet. Our success criteria for today. Now we are able to name the objects that are in space, such as the sun, the moon, stars, the earth, and other planets. My lovely students, I really hope you enjoyed the lesson. Now it's time to say goodbye for today. Goodbye.
Goodbye, see you next time, everyone. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to me. Goodbye, see you next time, everyone.